Chair. I rise in support of my bipartisan amendment, which makes clear that no funding made available by this bill can be used to carry out another wasteful round of base realignment and closure, or BRAC. Folks in the low country still remember the disastrous effects BRAC had on our economy in the past. Our region lost more than 20,000 jobs, according to some estimates, after the 1993 BRAC Commission recommended the closure of the Charleston Naval Shipyard. My amendment would make sure that the Joint Base Charleston, Paris Island, Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort, and the Beaufort Naval Hospital do not suffer the same fate. Combined, these na important national security assets are estimated to account for nearly, nearly $13 billion in economic impact and support 78,000 jobs. But this amendment isn't just about preserving my district's economy, it's also about fiscal responsibility. The last BRAC round in 2005 cost taxpayers over $35 billion and is not expected to save even one-third of that. This is funding that should have gone to rebuilding our military and improving its readiness, but was instead spent devastating military communities across the country. This is why I'm asking that my colleagues on both sides of the aisle join me in supporting this amendment, which will ensure that military communities in the low country and across the nation are spared the effects of another reckless background. I'd reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves. Does any member wish to seek time in opposition? For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Florida seek recognition? Uh, I rise to speak on the amendment, although I do not oppose it. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I rise to point out that DOD has testified that they have excess facilities and need a way to deal with that excess. With that said, the underlying bill does not include any funds to initiate a BRAC round, and I have no objection to the amendment. I appreciate the gentleman calling attention to the economic impact of BRAC rounds, and uh, yield back the balance of my time. Gentlewoman yields back. Gentlewoman, gentleman from South Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In closing, I want to thank the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Mr. Ratcliffe, for joining me in offering this amendment. I also want to thank Chairman McGovern and my colleagues on the Rules Committee for allowing this important amendment to come to the floor for debate. And I'd ask that my colleagues vote in favor of this amendment and ensure that our military's limited resources are not wasted on another round of BRAC. I yield back the balance of my time. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from South Carolina. Those in favor say aye. Those in favor say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.